at the back of the car now. And um, so you can see what we've already done. Now, when we got the chassis, basically we, we gun black, you know, we gun blew it. And um, uh, we're trying a different setup on this one this time. This, this uh, uh, tubing wasn't sanded uh, before it was assembled. Uh, there's other race uh, manufacturers out there that they sand all the stuff off the, off the uh, tubing. Uh, these guys only sand it where it's being welded at or whatever, instead of having the whole tube polished. I, I kind of like the whole tube polished deal. I think it gets the weld less affected by the crust that's on top of the actual metal. Um, but this car didn't have that done. So we tried bluing it without taking the, the, the crust from the factory off the chromoly. And um, it actually turned out pretty good because it actually protects it a little bit from, from rusting anyway. So you can see this dark color, but this is all chrome molly tubing. Um, so we first we do the whole chassis like that without anything in it. And I and I should have I should have recorded this, um, but I did not. Uh, but I'm trying to do better this year. It's one of my New Year's resolutions is to get you guys as much information as I can pass, possibly pass on. Um, yeah, hell, you don't even know how long I'll ever be around. And I would like to have somebody be maybe one one bit smarter from one of my videos. Than the next right so anyway um another thing we've already done is we've already ran the parachute cables through the chassis through the top rail here and that comes out by the driver and there's a lever that's up front there that we that we have and then we'll get these all set to size once we get the wing on it and the parachutes hanging out here we'll know how long to make these um Another couple of things that we've done already, we've already ran the air lines that come back here to the rear end. We've also ran the hydraulic line, uh, which is this big line right here, which goes to what we call the cannon, which controls the throw out bearing, which releases the clutch. We've already got that. We've already got our sensor on here for our clutch pressure. And uh, I was showing you that piece that that guy makes, uh, uh, for holding this sensor, this sensor, if you used to bang on it like that, it disrupts the signal. And so it's very important that this thing is is actually on a, a hose, which buff, buffers the signal coming out of this main line. And it actually uh, is encased in this, this rubber, so it, it can't get a vibration signal uh, that way. We've also ran the clutch temperature already. So we measured the clutch temperature as it's going down the track. We've also ran the push air, which is this right here. And the airline is also here, right here, that goes to the, we talked about that neutral safety, uh, so they can get it off the track, and that's gonna be connected right there. On this side, you can see here, we uh, have one of our, our race pack setups uh, provided by uh, uh, Todd Payton, which is going to do uh, the clutch linear, the clutch temperature, and also the push air pressure, which is this one. And then this one here, we actually record the tire temperature as it's going down the track. That little baby is about 500 bucks, but it's infrared. It shoots towards the tire. And we actually watch what that tire temperature is as it's going down the track. As the tire temperature goes up, of course, you're getting to a point where you know, we call it nuclear meltdown. It gets, the rubber gets so hot, it starts to lose traction and you'll see them smoking the tires out there at 180, 200 foot or whatever it may be. You can do it at 600 foot, but we kind of try and monitor that tire temp to see if maybe on that run, how close it was to getting in trouble or not. We mocked up the bell housing. We've already mocked up the clutch. Uh, this is so he can put it in neutral, like when it's running, so he can go forward to reverse. Uh, when he leaves the starting line, his foot is not even on the clutch at all. It's uh, it's just sitting there, and then and then it's got some load on it. We use stall springs in order to uh, in order to set that gap and and uh, that tug on the clutch when he takes that clutch his foot off the clutch pedal. Um, you can see here this is how the motor plate is is done on a Lucas car. You can see it's in, encapsulated so the motor can float a little bit. And, um, and that's what actually holds the motor to the frame rail. And then we have a motor plate that goes on the front. Uh, some other things that we do here, we try and keep all of our lines as close to what we are operating. So we're doing boost pressure, fuel pump pressure, and oil pressure uh, from here. And I haven't determined what I'm gonna do here yet. I'm, I might be doing return pressure on this. I'm not sure yet. 
Um, as we go along also with the race back, this all daisy changed together via net, a VNet cabling system. And so it's just one line that goes to all of these. So it's all daisy changed like a network. Um, but this here does the EGTs. So one side does the, the even side, one does the odd side for each individual cylinder. So we watch that. Um, coming up here to the front, you can see we've already got our Bimba system in for this here is to, this is for the fuel. So this would be on, this is off. And we have a Bimba cylinder on here. So we talked about earlier with the safety device, we can actually hit this and it'll poof, shut that fuel right off as, it, as it's going down track. Um, on the other side, we have the same setup with the parachute. It can actually throw the parachutes uh, on this thing via uh, the safety box. Um, you can see we have our, our uh, dash in already um, provided from BDS. Our Raceback Dash is a Pro 3 computer system. And this here is basically, I call the brains of the, of the system, uh, the EM command module that Dave Leahy makes. And you can see I've, I've only got a little bit of it hooked up so far. We got safety yet to do, booster rev. We've got um, uh, our clutch regulator. We also got, uh, uh, oh, uh, we monitor the front tire speed and uh, rotation. So we use that as it goes down the track so we can actually throw the parachutes off of how many rotations the front tire has. So it knows how far down the track it is so we can help our driver in case he misses the finish line. It'll go ahead and throw the chutes out or shut the throttle blades one or the other. Um, you can see here we actually uh, was mandated last year. We have to have a fire bottle system and it comes in and it sprays on the inside of the driver here in case something should happen. He does manually have to pull this. He has a, uh, a deal on the other side here by the brake handle. You can see that. This right here, it says fire. He can pull that and that will set that fire bottle off and then this is what sprays on the driver to keep him uh, from being burnt in case of a, uh, an accident with the engine, or what we'd like to say, uh, a nitro failure. Um, this controls our timing. Um, we're getting ready to hook some of this stuff up. Uh, I've already got the power, the grounds, and everything else hooked up to this. We have a system on here. If the car doesn't have air pressure, it does not allow the timing to come on, which that means it does not get a signal and it will not have fire. So as it's going down the track, say you blow an airline, it loses system pressure. When it does that, it can lean the motor out because it controls part of the fuel system as well, but this will catch it beforehand and go ahead and shut the car off. So if it loses air pressure, it loses the voltage to this, which does shut the car off. And that's a good thing because if not, it'll probably just waste a motor of however many hundreds of thousands of dollars that you're gonna have invested in a blown airline. Um, Getting into this system, a lot of this here is the, the race pack stuff, drive shaft, main flow, return flow, all these different components that we measure as the car is going down the track. This is the hydraulic system for operating the clutch. This is where it's stored at. And so when we uh, charge it, we push all that fluid through this system, which pushes out the cannon, which is the start of our clutch system. As the car is initiated when it leaves the starting line, that bearing comes back and allows levers to be engaged, and that's the application of the clutch. We control that speed by flows and timers. So when we want that flow to come on, when we want this flow to come on, when we want this one to shut back off, or whatever it may be, we can do that through the Dave Leahy EM control module. Um, this here is the regulator setup for our all valve, which controls how much fuel that we're running in the motor at any certain point on the track. Um, and these here are the safety solenoids that does, that shuts that throttle, the parachute and the fuel off. And those will be uh, airlines to those solenoids in order to do that. Uh, down here, you can see our main fuel line uh, that we have in. It's, it's two and a quarter, and that's our fuel line feed that goes to the tank, which is gonna be up in this area. We don't have that mounted yet. We're waiting on a tank from Murph McKinney. Uh, we're going to try a couple different things in the tank area there. And um, you can see our front end up here. See here we use strange, uh, strange spindles. And then most of this is all fabricated stuff from uh, uh, Lucas chassis. 
And um, that's our steering gear. That's from Strange. And uh, this is all you get in one of these things. That's it. And you'll see here too, if you look this direction, you'll see that these are offset. We're allowed uh, offset, and that's what the breaks the beams when the car leaves. And so if you have them offset, you get a more of a running start on it. And we're only allowed, I believe, an inch and a half of, or two inches, I believe, of offset from this point to this point. I believe it's two inches. That's all done through the, the chassis builder. And this is where the front wing mounts on the front. You can see here, this is it. You see that big old front wing that hangs out here. It makes 3,000 pounds of downforce to keep the front end down on these things. And, and that's where it's mounted. And we use all titanium hardware for that. Anyway, so my next video is going to be showing you guys how I do some of this wiring and how that's accomplished. And But I kind of wanted to show you the mess in the middle of it just to show you what it takes to put one of these things together. And we do this in about a week's time. You know, it's, it's amazing how much you can get done if you have a problem, uh, you know, if you're at a race or whatever. And a lot of this stuff can be done in hours, but when you're first putting it together and all that stuff, you want to kind of take your time and, and make sure everything's right. But. Now I wanted to prove one thing, that I can clean up and organize. Check it out. I got my zip ties all lined up, I got all my tools for the electrical stuff, and then I put this, uh, this cool board, because we're going to be terminating a lot of these wires on the car right here, so I made this, uh, this aluminum board here with the soldering gun, the heat shrink, and then my holder. There's Ray Ray in the background. Look at her, she's running away. She doesn't like to be on the camera. That's right, we're going to catch her. Here's my next set of uh, safety cables for the EM box is ready. I got all my, I found all my air fittings and everything, and I got them in one location. But this is us on about a 45 minutes uh, time lapse. And you can see I've got a, a great bunch of guys. I got one of the guys from Tony Schumacher's team, one of the guys from Tasca's team, Davey. Um, it's going to be doing the clutch this year, and really blessed uh, with a bunch of great people working around me. Of course, there's uh, Tuna. Um, helping put this thing together. Ryan's inside doing POs. Give you guys a quick update on the car. We've uh, pretty much got it all completely wired. Um, we don't have the brakes hooked up yet. We'll put a rear end in it and do that. But that's our next project is taking this car, swapping it with that car, and uh, putting a motor in it and all that kind of stuff so we can finalize some of the wiring. But we pretty much have everything ran on this thing. Uh, all the ignition stuff, delay cables, uh, cam sync, all that's done. This goes up to the uh, to the mags themselves from the points boxes and stuff like that. This delays the timing when we want to, a delay cable. Um, this here is a, a blower belt protector, so if it breaks a belt, which our car doesn't, but in the case that it does, this is actually uh, to prevent it from smacking around on the wires and stuff like that. Uh, you can see our fresh air system's in, all-in-one valve's in, um, all, the, all the air and everything is ran for that. So along with the return flow meters in, uh, air regulator, main air lines are hooked up, all the wiring uh, is all down to the chassis, all like we, we like to run it. You know, that we had to have certain things uh, able to get, uh, in case of... Uh, something goes wrong with the ignition we want to be able to replace you know the, the face cables and stuff like that real quickly so we have those in a in an area where we can do that uh, throttle pedal is all hooked up um, other than the actual throttle cable but uh, the start switch and the uh, linear for throttle position is all hooked up um, up in the front here you see it's kind of a cluster but we're still waiting for the race pack data logger itself once we get that we can finish plugging in all these wires and the dash wire but uh, pretty much all the power grounds all the acquisition stuff is is all all complete and uh, wait for the rest of the flow meter to hook that up and here in a little bit we'll do a smoke test we'll put a battery in this thing and hook it up and see if we have any smoke or fire we always do like to do that and be uneventful for sure. But so that's what we got going on today. You can also see we got the, the fresh air is ran and also the stuff for all the communications for the drivers all been ran. You can see that here. And um, see here we got the shoot shoot button in along with the shoot lever and the wires for the parachutes that go towards the back. So 
Brake system's all hooked up uh, uh, other than the rear end itself. So everything's looking pretty good. Just a quick update. Like I said, we're gonna be switching cars from that car to this car so we can put a motor in it and then start wiring up some of the motor stuff. Thanks for joining in.